Hey everyone, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse and today we're back with weekly update number 91. It was kind of our first full weekly update here in the new warehouse. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how things play out here in the, in the new warehouse with that. So let's kick off with Week in Review. This is where we talk about what's been going on, things that are coming up, stuff like that. And I guess first off, let's talk about just the fact that uh, this has been our first kind of full week operating in the warehouse. Uh, today the day i'm filming this will be our, the last full day of a week friday to thursday and uh quite frankly things have gone pretty smoothly there haven't been a whole lot of issues uh things been have been going as well as can be expected the new systems we put in place for how to manage packing or picking for two packing stations have worked well um, and everything else has just been kind of going as smoothly as can be expected which is good it's been nice being in the, the new warehouse, having a AC in here definitely helped this week, taking the, the edge off, making it a lot more comfortable to work than, uh, than it would have been at the old warehouse with the, the no AC that we had there. And, uh, and the other thing is I've been extremely happy having an office with a door that I can close because I've been able to have some meetings this week and not get interrupted constantly it kind of gives people that indication that hey maybe Nick's doing something that he doesn't want to be interrupted and people will put that thing off until uh, the next chance I'm available and it's that's been kind of amazing and pro pro probably game changing over the long haul because it allow uh, let me to have more focused meetings have private conversations things like that and that's been just just great overall though this week we've been getting getting situated getting used to everything uh, running the new packing stations everything's been pretty Pretty efficient. I've been very happy with how that's been going. After Friday, Friday I jumped in and kind of was part of the picking team. And uh, by Monday, I kind of was able to pull myself out of that, which is good. And uh, yeah, there's not much else to say on that. Also, this week, um, Patrick's on vacation. Uh, Monday was his last day of this week before, before taking off. So I've had a field customer service stuff as well as everything else I do around here, which has been uh, not too bad, I think partially due to the fact that we don't have the, the big two week backlog of things and dents that have been won for people to add. That workload will probably increase gradually until uh, he gets back essentially as we have more and more things and dents posted and things like that. Uh, but so far it hasn't been too bad. Um, yeah, and that's uh, that's kind of it for week in review this week. Let's do pre-orders. We put four new pre-orders on the website this week. Uh, the Trumpeter Transformers RC. I'm not familiar with the RC character, but it's a definitely feminine robot design there, pink and white. Uh, three Motoroid kits. Looks like the Deer Stalker, a White Lily, and Viola. Catsy. The the second two of those are look like SD kind of designs. The white lily uh, is white, obviously, and the uh, the viola catsy definitely has a cat vibe on it with the uh, like cat ears. It's almost like a cat death scythe. Kind of interesting. And uh, the deer stalker is like an interesting design as well. I'm not sure if those are from anything or if they're just unique designs. Uh, but that's it for pre-orders. Let's do restocks. We'll take a quick walk. Okay, so restocks, I think. Let's start in here real quick. There's a couple that weren't listed, so. Uh, first up, we got three, three AMM kits over here that came in. We've got the, where were these? I just found these, the AMM Ghost. Got these back in stock. Some of these AMMs I think we had in stock and we we're just topping off the, uh, the others, the Miles Kembu. And then somewhere around here, I wasn't able to find it. And I don't want to waste too much time on it. The uh, Byakuchi is also back in stock. Revenant Eye Armor Parts. This is a uh, frame arm armor parts, I think, for the Revenant Eye. So we'll get to that one in a second. So these are extra armor parts for that. We've got the armor parts for the Griefen. Another interesting set of armor parts. We got some Zoids as well. The uh, Command Wolf is finally here. So that one looks looks cool. Hexagear uh, Sieg Springer. It's basically basically like a horse. 
type thing for your governor, I think. Uh, we got the Revenant eyes. This is the one that goes to those armor parts before. So interesting frame arms design right there. That rifle's kind of cool. We got the bump up expander collector's edition. So governor, I see Gatling guns, so I'm in. We got the uh, the gun sniper W2, another Zoid right here. It's like a Raptor with uh, Gatling guns, so that's cool. Uh, the Iguan. So not super familiar with that one, but interesting one there too. We got the. Let's put this down. Low. We got the uh, bump up governor bump up expanders. This is the non collector's edition one. This almost gives me a little bit of a Half Life 2 combine soldier vibe. Uh, the Riz Vilger uh, Atter, something like that. I think we got the one of the frame arms girls that matches this. I think we've had in stock for a little while now. Got the Griefen, so that goes with the those armor parts before too. Kind of a bulky, interesting design. One that I think everybody's been waiting for though, the Metal Gear Rex. So we got a bunch of these in. I don't. I expect these are not going to last super long because the pre-order sold out and everybody's been asking about them. So if you want one of these, make sure you jump on that relatively quick. We've got another frame arms. This is the. Hector Joyus, kind of a interesting design, big wings, kind of cool. And then it looks like we got uh, Agnirage. I only see one over here, so it doesn't bode well. So there might not be a lot of these on there either. So if you want one of those, grab it quick. Let's see, Put the stuff down here below is us two. So yes. Four more over here. We got the Governor Armor Type Pawn A1. So it's almost like a knight-like Governor type armor. That sword is really cool. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, governor Weapons Gatling Blade. I think these were the weapons that were with that bump of expander. So it's like a sword with Gatling guns. Can't go wrong. The Governor Queen's Guard. Another very knight-like governor type setup there. And then the governor Ignite Spartan also has kind of a, a knight-like look to it. So some interesting stuff right there. Another one that everybody's gonna be excited about. We got the PG Unicorn in stock. We got a decent number of these. They're not gonna last though. There's, there's definitely not enough considering all the pent up PG demand. There haven't been any PGs printed in a while. We have a few others coming, but that, that one's definitely in. We also have around here somewhere the LED set that goes with that as well. Ava uh, 01 DX set. I don't think we got a ton of these either, so I don't think those are going to last super long. Maybe a case of those came in. RG Banshee Norn. So we got another real grade in stock. The uh, real grade unicorns are, are relatively good. I built the full armor unicorn, which most of the core design, I think, is the same. That was a solid kit. Four, two, seven, six. And Ava Model 2, another real great Ava. I don't think we got a ton of any of these real great Avas, so. And then we'll head down to the other end, look at these age kits. Six, four. All right, here we go. So we also got, uh, I think, one, two, three. We got four different SD age kits in. <clears throat> the age FX. Whoops. The age two. The age one. And the age three. Looks like the age two is the normal or double bullet. The age one is normal or Titus or Spallow. Spallow. Sparrow. And this one, age three, orbital. Or fortress, I think. I'm assuming they've got the option parts to select. That's probably why they're such big kits. So you might need to double down on those if you're big into the age designs. Uh, we also got seven two two two. 
Alto ground type. This is a, a favorite of mine. I've built this kit. I kit bashed it with some other stuff and uh, entered it in one or two contests. Took away, took home some hardware for that one. Spinachia assassin type. Little Spinachia design. All these Spinachias have been very popular. Got those restocked. I think that's basically it. I think we got another Amium kit. Miles Riki around somewhere. We missed that one earlier, but. I think that's it for restocks. So let's head back to the table and uh, do Q&A. Okay. So Q&A, this is the part where I answer questions from you, the viewer. So if you've got a question you want answered, post it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it next time. So first question from Nigoki. Any ideas for decorating those bare walls once you get settled in? I'm imagining a neon MW logo somewhere like above a packing station, but I could see people sending you fan art of Blue 01. Congrats again on the new space. Another great question. Uh, I've got a few ideas in terms of decorating that we want to do. I've got some, some wall art I want to put up in my office. I actually kind of want to like frame or otherwise display some of my old, at least the ones that aren't super ratty old, like Gundam Wing t-shirts I had when I was a teenager because there was some pretty cool artwork on those. There's at least one of those I don't think got worn super much. So that would be really cool. I want to put artwork up in the, there's a kind of a hallway between the office and the warehouse. And in that hallway, I think it'd be a good place to maybe hang up some, uh, some pictures from the, the old days, kind of mecha warehouse history. Planning a big logo at the front, right in the front door. And uh, we'll probably end up doing some other stuff other places. I, I kind of like the fan art idea up above the, the station, so maybe we'll have to act on that. Next up, Plastic Germs. Question, what is Mecha Warehouse's next big move, big thing or move now that the new Mecha Warehouse is complete? Uh, so we've got, we've got a big, some big ideas. The, uh, the next big project we kind of kicked off yesterday. I can't really talk about what it is. Hopefully in the next month or two, there will be some, some hints of it coming out, but I don't want to give away what we're doing until we're, we're ready to do it. Uh, but so there's some big things coming. And then fun question, trying to be a Jedi master or a Sith Lord. I feel like this is a super easy question. Whenever I played KOTOR, even when I wanted to play like a Sith character, I couldn't like it just, it was hard for me to try to pick the, the bad ones, I don't know if it's just a personality thing. Um, so apparently I'm just cut out to be Jedi. Next question from Brainstorm2341. What has been the most popular kit, best-selling kit? It changes all the time. Uh, it depends on what we have in stock. Best-selling kit of all time is probably like, I don't know, the Sazabi Verka maybe. Because when we do have it, it sells super well consistently. Uh, but in any given week or month, it really depends what what the item that we have that people want the most is. So it's it's constantly changing. And uh, I think there's one more question. No name. Any PG kits coming in soon? It's a great question. I just showed you the PG unicorn that just arrived. I think we have two others. I think the PG Unleashed is on the way. And I think the PG Wing Gundam is also on the way. So we should expect those in the next few months, hopefully, maybe sooner, ideally sooner. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So that's it for questions. If you've got a question you want answered, post it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it next time. Thank you for watching. See you next time.